Big up, big up, big up, big up, guys. It's your boy, Mark and MUFC fan. And you know what it is. Smash those likes and subscribe. Share it around. And hands up, hands up to the Trini Massive. Yes, TTO, stand up, TTO. What's good? And you know what it is? It's good news, big news, and a big day. A new dawn, and it's Dwight York in charge of the Trinidad and Tobago men's national team. Big up to Yorkie. You know what I mean? Man United starting a new day. And now TNT is following suit. And with the professional and acclaim and all he has achieved, Dwight York, what does the future bring for Trinidad and Tobago men's national team? Of course, the World Cup 2026 expansion, 48 teams is on the horizon. Can TNT make it as one of the, the secured qualifiers? Can we do it? Could Dwight Yorks inspire the youth of Trinidad, you know, wherever they might be coming from, grassroots in TNT or from academies, sharing dual citizenship from abroad? There's the likes of Jaden Sancho at Chelsea, shares Trini Roots. The likes of Marcus Edwards at Sporting Lisbon, shares Trini Roots. There's quite a few others, including Matthew Hines. Check them out. Players born in Trinidad or have some relation and ties to Trinidad that cannot be playing for Trinidad and Tobago, but may not have been possible. But now, with the Manchester United treble winner taking over Trinidad and Tobago's men national team, could he infuse that professionalism, that winning mentality that he developed at Manchester United that got him to Manchester United and further develop the young talent that Trinidad has to offer from grassroots or wherever, who will now get their chance to represent Trinidad and Tobago in the national stage for Dwight York as head coach. Guys, grab this opportunity. Every single youngster out there, listen to me. If you have a dream about being a footballer, now is your time in TTO. Stand up. Get yourself ready. Go and do your research. And if you want, your boy Mark Ken will be dropping some tips and tricks for youngsters. And I will be having one or two guests who are prime coaches in different shapes and form in the youth footballing program to give their say so you guys will have a way to understand how you can do work on your own at home or wherever you need to so you can get yourself to the level to get yourself selected and chase your dreams make it happen guys big up to everyone joining and guys don't forget to smash a like all the trinidadians stand up massive let me know what you're thinking in the comments. Comments below. Smash a like and subscribe. What do you think? What can Trinidad do? Where can we go? Can Dwight York take us to that other level? That level we were at around 2004 to 2006 that saw us make the Germany World Cup and have a good performance. Won one, drawn one, lost one. Not a bad showing from Trinidad and Tobago. First tournament. Dwight York was there. Can he get us back to the World Cup? You know, it was only something like this back in 2004 when we hired the likes of, you know, Leo Ben Hacker from nowhere. You know what I mean? He walked into Trinidad and Tobago. He said, you know what? I'm going to take you guys to the 2006 World Cup in Germany. And he did. Dwight York is coming in a similar time frame. Can he do it? I believe he can. I'm going to be there to support him as I am going to be here to support all the watch-alongs and bring my attention to Trinidad and Tobago football because you know your boy Mark Ken is a Manchester United fan, but I'm also, I will always be a Trinidad and Tobago fan. So you know what, guys? Let's see how we can go. Let's see how far Trini can go. Can we get back to the world stage? We are definitely trying. Now with this appointment, I can say we are taking serious steps in the right direction. And there's been reports all over BBC News, not only, but let's mention Trinidad and Tobago Football Association and their article that they previously released to confirm this states. We are pleased to announce the appointment of Dwight York as the new head coach of Trinidad and Tobago men's national team. This is an exciting development that marks a new chapter in our football as York returns to lead the nation's journey with the primary focus on the upcoming World Cup qualification efforts. With the World Cup qualification in our sights, we are thrilled to welcome Dwight York as the new men's national team coach. With an immediate reaction, 
York was said, I'm proud and privileged to receive the honor of leading Trinidad and Tobago national team. The opportunity to work with this talented and close-knit group of players is something I look forward to. Having helped Trinidad and Tobago to the semifinals of the CONCACAF Gold Cup in 2000 and captaining the side in the 2006 World Cup uh, and being an assistant manager, my love and commitment to my national team is well documented. As continued from the former Manchester United treble winner, I saw firsthand as a player how working together to achieve our targets brought joy and a united country for us. I see the same ambition and desire at the current levels of the current setup. So I look forward to building the, on the work of someone who played alongside with a number of years from the youth level right up to senior team, a good friend and teammate, Angus Eve, and the current interim head coach, Derek King. As a player, I experienced some incredible moments in a Trinidad Tobago shirt. With this squad, I hope that they can continue as head coach, added York. York, one of the nation's most celebrated football figures, brings his extensive international experience both as a player and a leader in the sport to his new role. Known for his tactical insight, passion, and dedication, York's appointment aligns with the TTFA's mission to elevate Trinidad and Tobago football to new heights. Dwight York's journey from a standout player to a seasoned leader in football brings a unique univision that aligns with our ambitions, added the president of the federation. Guys, it's going to be amazing. You know what I mean? Dwight York was captain of Trinidad for the 2006 World Cup during an illustrious playing career. And that saw him play two spells at Man United, Aston Villa, Birmingham City, Sunderland, Blackburn Rovers, and Sydney FC. Guys, it's going to be an exciting run. Hopefully, Yorkie has what it takes, and he's going to take us very far. I'm going to be very, very excited to see if York can take us to the, to the World Cup, guys, because I'm hoping to be there to provide coverage to you guys. You know what I mean? So let's see. Go, go, TTO. Let's go, Soka Warriors. Let's get it done. Big up to Yorkie in the building. Let's go, my brother. Manchester United for life. Soka Warrior all my life. Big up to you guys. Thank you for joining. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe. It's been your boy, Mark and MUFC fan, bringing you the latest news and football updates, not just on Man, Uf Man United, but also on TTO, the Soka Warriors, Trinidad and Tobago. You know what it is, guys. Big up to all of you.